The artists of UP, the, the clusters of the arts and humanities, the different colleges, are already at the forefront you know, of their field. Uh, we have the best artists, the best poets, the best writers, the best filmmakers, the best painters, uh, the best architects. So uh, I guess in that sense, though, there are a lot of challenges for Weka. Um, a lot of the work is already being done. All we really need to do is clear the road for them and for all the young people who are embarking on, on the arts. I would see OICA eventually as being um, something, a force rather than just an institution, uh, a friend rather than just, um, uh, rather than just an ally um, to all of the artists. And this covers all the disciplines, whether the artists come from the, what are known as conventional art, arts and humanities clusters or even the clusters from the science and technology uh, and engineers. Else. Many of these artists really are able to produce with almost nothing. I mean, that has always been one of the hallmarks of our artists. And yet, uh, there is no doubting that additional support, whether in terms of financing or whether in terms of better facilities and better resources, better materials, uh, all of these would go a long way towards uh, making it easier for the artists to produce I mean, more than anything else. I mean, I think even film, filmmakers, uh, painters, architects, dancers, performers, uh, writers, and poets will probably all agree to a large extent that it is really the people uh, that, that make up UP, that define its culture, that define its culture of life.